Hi and welcome. If you want to know your history, probably you can run a DNA test. But how to find the reliable solution in tons of options available in the internet? That's a big question. And we spend a lot of time, money and efforts to analyze all those services that provides you with a DNA test. And we found a great one. So today we want to share with you one fantastic project and uh, in the end of this video you're gonna find out everything that you need to know about the service called ancestry hello everyone today in our review we will tell you about a very interesting and informative service but first subscribe to our channel and like this video here you can find the best reviews on any products and services we also have other cool reviews on today's topic namely checking your dna Ancestry DNA is an easy to use tool for exploring your background. If you have an Ancestry family tree, this service can even find relatives among the 5 million DNA profiles it has already collected. Ancestry DNA is a service that analyzes your DNA and integrates the data with your family tree, like its competitors. Ancestry ships a DNA testing kit that you return with your saliva samples. In several weeks, the service posts the results to your online profile. Since we last looked at Ancestry DNA, the company has added a new DNA test called Ancestry Health, which checks for genetic risks and carrier status. It has also broken down many large regions into smaller ones and added more ethnicity populations. Ancestry DNA has one of the largest databases of DNA samples worldwide among its competitors, with the Editor's Choice award-winning 23andMe coming in second. If you're specifically looking for genetic relatives and family tree tools, Ancestry DNA is the way to go. Pricing and DNA Collection Ancestry DNA's $99 price tag includes the collection kit and two-way shipping, and there are often sales. I've seen it for as low as $59. If you order more than one, you get a discount. 23andMe charges for shipping in both directions about $10 on top of the $99 price of its collection kit. To order an Ancestry DNA kit, you must first create an account so that you can receive your results. If you already have an Ancestry account, you can use the same login. Your kit should arrive within a week or so. Ancestry DNA ships kits to all 50 US states and more than 30 countries. Story Scout, a family history research tool, is now included with Ancestry DNA. All you need to do is provide information about a grandparent. If they are in the system, Ancestry will search public family trees to find more ancestors. Ancestry Health is available as a separate kit. $179 for new users, $99 for existing users. To take the health test, you must be at least 18 and live in the US, except New York, New Jersey and Rhode Island. You can't take the test if you're given or received a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. When you receive the kit, the first thing you need to do is activate it online using its unique code. It's a longish code and there's no confirmation process, so type carefully. The code keeps your sample anonymous, but trackable throughout the process. The specimen does not have your name on it. You then fill in your name, click activate and consent to its terms of service. Next, you can link your kit to your ancestry family tree, if you have one. Once you've finished activating your kit and setting up your account, it's time to extract your sample, which involves spitting into a plastic tube up to its field line. It's not glamorous. You can't eat, drink or smoke 30 minutes before providing your sample. 23andMe has a similar requirement, whereas Home DNA has no such restrictions. The whole process is quick and straightforward, and the included funnel prevents spillage. Next, you remove the funnel and strew on the included included cap, which releases a stabilizing fluid so that your sample remains viable during travel. Then you shake the tube for about 5 seconds, place it in the included collection bag, put the bag in the prepaid shipping box and then drop it off at the post office. In response to the growing trend of families taking DNA tests together, sharing results and building family trees together, Ancestry DNA makes it possible to manage other people's test results. An adult who takes a DNA test is considered the owner 
owner of that task, but can assign other family members or friends to the role of managing the results and allow others to view them. If you're managing other people's DNA results, you can do so from your account, but each task must be associated with an account. So even if you're doing the ordering and setup for a family member or friend, you'll need to create an account for them or help them do so themselves. Parents who are managing tasks for their minor children are the exception. They can have multiple kits associated with one account. DNA reports and extra features. I received confirmation of receipt just over a week after I mailed my kit to Ancestry DNA. It included my activation number and informed me that the results would arrive in the next 6 to 8 weeks. My results were ready about 2 weeks later. Updates and add-ons your first report isn't the whole story, however. As time passes, Ancestry DNA updates your results based on scientific research, more reference samples, and improved tools. Since we last looked at the service, Ancestry DNA added more ethnicity populations and broke down larger regions into smaller, more precise ones. These include England, Wales, and Northern Europe, Ireland, and Scotland, China, Japan, Congo and Southern Bantu peoples, and Eastern Europe and Russia. The company also added a new region in Cyprus. As of late 2020, the company says I'm 100% Irish, which again is not a surprise. Depending on your genetic makeup, you may also see trace regions in your ethnicity estimate, in which the amount of matching DNA is too small to deem accurate. Initially, I had a 1% match with Scandinavia and 1% with Western Europe. More precise Size testing led Ancestry DNA to remove those from my profile and add Irish provinces such as Connacht and Munster, and counties including South Sligo. You can click on any region to get more information. This genetic makeup tracks with how my extended family looks and what I know about our ancestry. You can update your dashboard to show the latest estimates, but you can also view previous estimates. Ancestry DNA Traits was an add-on feature that's now included in the Ancestry DNA test. It tests for more than a dozen traits, including eye color, freckles, cilantro aversion, and beta sensitivity with no additional test required. I ordered traits when it was an add-on and immediately had access to my results. For each one, you can confirm whether or not Ancestry DNA is right. In my case, the results stated that I probably don't have a cleft chin, I don't, and probably have unattached earlobes, I do. On the other hand, it guessed that I might dislike the taste of cilantro, which is not accurate. Once your DNA is processed, Ancestry DNA searches its database for matching using the DNA matches feature. Whether you have a linked family tree on the primary ancestry service or not, none of your personal information is visible, just your username, possible relationship, and genetic ethnicity. You can view your possible matches on the dashboard, labeled with the confidence level and possible range, second to third cousins, fourth to sixth cousins, etc. You can decide how much or little personal information to share with potential matches. So in my case, unless your matches have a public profile or public family tree, you can only view the their display name, either username or their full name, which isn't much to go on. Members can also include a profile photo. This feature has the old feel of a dating site, since you can connect with your matches and see when they last logged in. When I looked at the results a few years ago, I didn't recognize anyone. But now, with over 19,000 matches, I saw some familiar names. Ancestry DNA continues to search for matching as its database grows. 23andMe also looks for DNA matches, though their program is opt-in only. Its database found more than 1,400 matches for me. The Personal Discoveries Project is an optional feature in which you fill in service about yourself and your family. Ancestry DNA uses the information to improve its products and create new features. Getting help. Should you need any help throughout the process, you can access a wealth of online resources, including how-to articles and an active user community. I frequently consulted the FAQ page while writing this review. It included a dedicated section just for Ancestry DNA, which answered many of my questions about understanding my results and how Ancestry interprets your DNA sample. You can also call Ancestry support 7 days a week between 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. EST. I waited a approximately 30 minutes before reaching a representative, who quickly answered my questions. A fun way to trace your past. 
Ancestry DNA is a great way to learn about or confirm your ancestry. The service is easy to use, with abundant online resources. It's cost-effective too. If you're already an Ancestry member, it's worth adding Ancestry DNA as it's a useful tool if you're in charge of building and updating family trees. The company is also continually adding new features like health testing and updating your results as their tools and insights improve. If family trees aren't your primary concern, you should consider consider this service. If you have an ancestry family tree, the service can even find relatives among the 5 million DNA profiles it has already collected. It's not just humans who can test their DNA. If you're furious about your canon body's heritage, check out our reviews of the best DNA services. We hope you enjoyed our review. Like and subscribe.